All right, guys, we're here today. We've been selling a lot of transfer kits for these Ranger 1500s, and uh, people are asking how to install these hubs and a ton of questions. We have a customer that dropped off his tracks. We're doing, it's not a five lug, but it's gonna be identically the same. So everyone that has prospectors and, and uh, Camzo Forest Ones, they can watch this video, whether it's five lug or four lug, this will show you how to do it. So we're gonna be doing a front track and a rear track. We won't be doing all four on video because you can just mimic what we showed you on the next two. So what we got here is, uh, you know, obviously the front track of a Forest One. We have our sockets. I'm gonna be using power tools and stuff. I got five eighths. This is for the bolt behind the dust cover. We got a 19 and a 19 wrench. This is gonna be for adjusting the tension on the track so we can loosen up this track to get the sprocket out and hub. I got a 17 and 15 because you're gonna to wanna to make sure the anti-rotation arm is loose on these things so it can it can get out of the way as you push the hub out. And I have a flathead screwdriver to pop this uh, dust seal out. We got red Loctite for some of the bolts that are going in and obviously got the parts, uh, the hubs. Got a torque wrench when we put it back together, we're gonna do some torque specs of Camzo. I got 80, 90 gear oil to top off the hub. We're gonna put some grease on these to ride on the bearing and the seal. A little extra lubrication and it also helps with moisture getting in. So our first step is we're gonna be loosening this nut right here. So we'll loosen that up. And then this is the actual tensioner itself. Start turning this to the left. This is going to like lefty loosey righty tighty for your track. Um, this is gonna loosen up, suck these tires in and loosen up the tension on the track. So now you can see this track is super loose. It sucked those in. You wanna make sure this arm is loose. This bolts are still tight. So we're gonna loosen these so this can swivel back and forth that way it can swivel out when we pull this. Now we're going to take our flathead screwdriver. We're going to pop this dust cover off just like that. And we got this bolt behind it, which is the 5 8 inch bolt. Now this hub will be able to slide right out the back. The track is holding it in. So what I'm going to do is get up on the table. You sure about that? You sure about that? We're going to be under a lot of media scrutiny. So now's the time to put it on the table. So we reassessed the situation with me getting on the table. Uh, so we brought it down to the ground. You're going to be holding this track up like this and you're just gonna slide this out just like that. A lot of people will derail the track and it's just a lot more work. You can get enough tension out of them. Just showing you a little shortcut. So I got the multi-fit hub here. We're gonna be throwing the sprocket on. Technically could go either side, but I put the part number down like this so you can see it from the inside. And just FYI, you can tell if you, I mean, you can count the teeth or you can see it'll be 711. This one's 7118 because it's an 18 tooth. If it's a 17 tooth, it'll be 7117, so on. Part number usually goes down, hub goes up. If you're reusing your bolts, which is totally fine to reuse, just apply new Loctite. These are new bolts. The Loctite is already pre-set on there. So we're just gonna install these. Now that uh, we got all these bolts in, I'm gonna tighten them up with the gun. Uh, these are torqued at 55 foot-pounds, um, which is equivalent to about three Ugga Duggas. No, I'm just kidding. So we're at 55 foot-pounds, like we said. And if you're having trouble with uh, torquing those, like if you're by yourself, I mean, obviously I'm a bigger guy, so I can lean on it and torque them. But if you're, you can wait for that process when you get this track remounted with this hub in there, the track will hold tension. So then you can go through and torque them. This is what everyone was waiting for is grease in the shaft. I'm putting the lotion on the skin. I'm rubbing it in. <laughs> Trainer. You're gonna go so high up into the mountains. You're gonna get in that deep, fluffy snow, and you're gonna like it. <laughs> so now that we got our shaft lubed up, sprocket bolted down and torqued, I'm gonna throw this back in. You're just gonna lift this track up. There's a little center piece that you might have to hold up. See how that all popped in when I when I centered that center piece with my finger. So now we'll get this up over the sprocket, walk this in, and there you go. 
it's in, the bolt will pull this, pull this tight and the oil obviously will be replacing the oil. We got this back up on the table. The, the new hub and sprocket is in. I'm gonna clean all this up, the oil that pushed out. You can see how this washer is a little oval uh, or bowed from being torqued down. They all do that. Doesn't mean they're necessarily bad. I mean, I just inspect them if they're, you know, in good shape still, unless they're really chewed up or something. This is about average. So you can reuse these. Most of the kits come with new bolts and everything to put in. So we will throw in the new bolts, but sometimes if you buy these used or whatever, and you're just trying to do a quick swap, you can reuse them. So this does have Loctite. So we're just gonna put this in the shaft. Now this is, we're gonna torque this to 90 foot pounds, which is about eight Ugga Duggas. If my math corrects, carry the two. Yep, eight Ugga Duggas. Finger, finger, finger. Ah! When you go to try to torque it, it's gonna spin this wheel. We'll tension the track before we torque this and it'll hold this wheel, but uh, just make sure on that that you got the teeth matched with the tracks. Go ahead and tighten this up. What I like to have is about a half inch or so. These are run tight because the on Camzo tracks, how they're designed is the tension is holding them to the cogwheel. So you can't run them loose like a back country. You gotta be more on the tighter side. I call this the neutral line. I, the people can call it whatever. I just, the, where the track is re resting neutrally. With it being tight, you only want about a half inch, an inch max of play. In the back, you can get a little more play because the cog wheel is further away from the back. And we'll show you that when we do the rear. But now that we have this tightened up, you could torque these now if you were having trouble torquing them on the table. Is it 90 foot pounds? Like that. Now, a lot of people lose these, these uh, blue caps, these dust caps. They, with the gasket, they don't seal, seal in well. Um, they always push out on one side, kind of like airlock or whatever. Um, what I do is I dry them up real good. I clean this up super good. Because a lot of these will have oil from assembly. When they assembled them, they'll, they'll be leaking. That's not a bad thing. It's just they overfilled them. So now that I have this all cleaned up, I'm gonna take this and I push it in and then I rotate it in and that walks that seal. And now you can see that that dust cover is seated perfectly in there and not kicked out. We're gonna take this little fill cap out, this little yellow plug. I just take a little screwdriver, and pop them loose. So literally this is only gonna take about two Mountain Dew caps. It just, it doesn't take much. It's an oil bath, how they have it set up. And even if you fill it to the top, it ain't the end of the world. Like right there, I thought it was more empty, but you know, that's all it took. If you fill it to the top, you might get a little bit that leaks out, you know, but you're totally fine. Just to get it tight, just a little bit. Don't go super tight because it's plastic. You just gotta give them like a core. Once you get them hand tight, as tight as you can go, give them just like another little quarter and you're good to go. We have got everything torqued up, oiled up. We're going, and we got it tensioned right. The last step is just to lock down that nut that locks the tension in just like that. Perfect. So now that we've done the front, we're gonna do one rear. Same thing, we're gonna loosen that set nut and then we're gonna adjust. These are like set of customers, so they're dirty and used. And then we're gonna loosen this bolt that pulls these tires in. There we go. Loosen it all the way up. Now that the track is detensioned, we're going to be loosening these like we did on the front. So this arm, if they're already loose, then don't worry about it. You're not removing these bolts. So just like the front, we're gonna pop this cover off again. It's just the same as the front. I'm gonna lift this up, hold it up. You're just gonna pull this sprocket out. We're gonna remove this sprocket. We're re reusing this sprocket. This is an 18 tooth, so we need this sprocket. So, with these, you can reuse these. So, I'm gonna just show you reusing. We do have new ones, but I just wanted to show people that can reuse. Remember, 55 foot pounds, so this is three Ugga Duggas. I'm just kidding, don't hold me to that. So now we're torquing these at 55.
for the people who got older tracks like Prospector Pros and stuff, they're a two bearing setup. Uh, the new stuff is three bearing in the way these, these hubs are. So we send you three bearing. You can see in here, there's a metal, this, this washer. So there's one bearing on the outside that'll go in this way. And then you'll run the spacer in and then two bearings behind it. And that's how that holds in. So when these come in, you might be fighting it. What you gotta do is uh, saying, holding it with your finger is hold the center so that shaft can slide back in. Cause if it falls down like that, which it will, it won't let that shaft in and you'll, you'll get very mad. Now that we got our shaft all lubed up, we're going to bring it in here. Just like that. Like I said, now you can feel that thing. See how it slides in just like that. New bolt, new washer, Loctited. We can put this in just like that. I'm going to use this to run it in. Make sure the teeth are matching up on the track because the next step is we're going to retention this track so we can torque this. Same thing with uh, our neutral line. You're gonna wanna push on it. You don't want more than like an inch. So this is what I like. This is how I tension them all and they never ratchet on me. So now we will torque this. All right, we're at 90 foot pounds. So now that's torque, 90. This is a perfect time that you can torque those. Um, and this was rolling a little bit, like you can fold the, lay the track over on its side and it won't roll near as bad. But now I'm gonna take the 19, we're gonna torque up the, the set nut on the tension. With this dust cover to make sure they fit in tight as I clean all the oil off of it and dry this good in here. You can see all the residue we pulled out of there. And then what I do is I push it in and then I turn it. See how this is what I'm talking about. You can see how it kind of pushes out and everything, but and they can fall out. But if you roll them in, sometimes it, with the air that it's trying to push in, you can take this out and you can hear it and that'll help holding it in place. Now that we're torqued up, tension set, the set nut is set, just a couple Mountain Dew caps. That's about all I'll put in it. And, uh, good to go these are you know obviously plastic threads so run it down and then once it gets tight you take your little screwdriver head and just give it a little quarter turn if you want wipe it off make it all look clean so now that we got everything done we're torqued we're tightened up set nut oil filled um, I just wanted to show you guys how easy it was in, in a step-by-step -step video so that way uh, you know and uh, like always man I deeply appreciate the only reason we're here is because of you guys and that's why I'm doing this is I just want to make it easier on your end of, of getting you to the mountain faster so like always I appreciate you and we'll see you at the top.